Hey guys, Lacey here, back again with another video. Today I'm doing a quick unboxing on an Adidas sneaker that was released on May the 5th in Europe and in Canada. Uh, before I get to that, I mean, it's been about a week and a half since I posted my last video. Uh, my original plan was to do a uh, collection video on all my Reebok questions. I had them all set up in the basement, um, ready to go, but when I went to go start filming, um, the lighting down there isn't very good. Now, I'm gonna have to go purchase some lighting off Amazon, um, so within the next week or so, I'll have proper lighting and I'll be able to shoot that video, but I had set everything all up for that to be my next video, and as I started filming, it was extremely dim down there and grainy looking. Um, the room I'm in right now is just a spare room. Um, I have some of my shoes here, but 99% of them are downstairs, so problem is I can pretty much only shoot during the day right now because I don't have lighting. So before we get to the unboxing, we have um, just kind of a another sneaker that is associated to the one I picked up. It is the Adidas ZX500 or ZX500 as the uh, Americans would say made in Germany sneaker. Now this sneaker came out in I think about 2015 if I'm not mistaken and um, had an extremely high retail price. It was $250, uh, came in two colors. There was a white leather and a black uh, suede pair. So as you can see, uh, the box itself, it's really nice, Adidas branding on the box, made in Germany on the back, same thing on the front. And as you open the box, you see they put a lot of work into this. They got the, uh, Look like a picture of the forest here. The Hirsch collection with some information on the back with this card. And when you take the sneaker out, it's got a uh, deer on the tongue. So the reason for the deer on the tongue, um, as you can see here, is that this sneaker was made entirely of deer leather. The uh, lining is made of leather. It's got a perforated insole. Not sure if you can see this. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Uh, perforated uh, leather lining as well. The uh, the sneaker is extremely soft leather on the entire upper. White outsole. These would retail for 250 Canadian. Um, I'm not 100% sure the US, maybe 180 or 200 US. This is the latest pickup I got. And as you can see, the Samba Classic OG, made in Germany. Um, now I'm already a little disappointed that they didn't put in anything, any special kind of packaging like the previous pair. I mean, at that price point, these ones retailed for 250 Canadian. So you would assume at that price point, they would have at least put a little bit more work into the box. It just comes in a standard blue um, Adidas box. In 2016, Adidas also released the Made in Germany LA Trainer. Uh, that one came also in a white Adidas consortium box, which retailed for 360 Canadian, uh, which is the main reason I didn't purchase them because that retail price is extremely high. And by the time the price dropped, to a price I was willing to pay, they actually didn't have my size. So um, that, that sneaker went on sale a lot of places, dropped below the $200 mark, but they didn't have my size, so I, um, I missed out on those ones. But again, those did come in a white consortium box, so I'm a little surprised that these only come in a, uh, a regular Adidas box, but it is what it is, whatever. So this is the brand new Adidas or Adidas Samba OG Classic. So as you can see, we have extremely premium uh, Nubuck upper here. Really, really soft all the way around. Three stripes branding as well. It's a black Nubuck on the toe. Again, new buck, and then we have some long-haired suede just on the toe cap here. Lining, on, of course, here you see more leather lining with something I haven't seen before. The insole is actually made of suede, just like the same on here. 
but the entire insole is made of suede. So I actually don't think I have a pair of sneakers that are made of suede on the inside. It is a non-removable insole. Looks like it's glued down. I'm sure I could rip it out if I tried. Elongated tongue with the Adidas branding and trefoil logo. So if you take a look very closely, you'll actually also see made in Germany on the gold on the tongue. I'm impressed with the quality. Like I'm definitely not disappointed in the sneaker itself. Packaging could have been a little bit better. Also comes with a set of uh, black laces. So definitely Adidas never disappoints with the made in Germany line. It is um, surprising to actually see these sit. Now I was able to get a pair, they released on the 5th of May. Um, I was able to get a pair on, I think I purchased them on the 8th. So three days after they released, um, Adidas had their friends and family sale and I got them for 40% off. So the retail was 250 Canadian. I think I got them for 150 three days after release. So that's an amazing price. And I'm very, very glad to have these classics in my collection. Um, I have been collecting sneakers for a very long time. And unlike a lot of new Adidas fans who just started collecting sneakers, um, not sneakers, but started getting into Adidas in 2014, 2015, when the Ultra Boost came out after Kanye West wore them and they really only rock boost, you got to have the classics in the collection. You can't. You can't just wear only Boost. Adidas has a huge, huge heritage of, of classic sneakers that came out well, long before Boost. I mean, you gotta appreciate the work that they've put into this sneaker and the craftsmanship and just some of the iconic silhouettes that they've had from before the NMDs and the Ultra Boosts and the Yeezys and all that. I hope they continue releasing uh, made in Germany sneakers. So guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these uh, Adidas made in Germany sneakers. Is it too too expensive? Is it worth the price? Um, would you purchase them? And do you want Adidas to keep making uh, this, this line of sneaker where they basically take uh, a classic silhouette and put it in extremely premium materials in, in the original, um, in Germany where, where the, the brand originated. So um, leave a comment down below. Uh, you know the usual guys, it's just a quick short unboxing. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back again with another video. Peace. Hey guys, Laceed here, back again with another video. Today I'm doing a quick unboxing on an Adidas sneaker that was released on May the 5th in Europe and in Canada. Uh, before I get to that, I mean, it's been about a week and a half since I posted my last video. Uh, my original plan was to do a uh, collection video on all my Reebok questions. I had them all set up in the basement, um, ready to go, but when I went to go start filming, um, the lighting down there isn't very good. Now, I'm gonna have to go purchase some lighting off Amazon. Um, so within the next week or so, I'll have proper lighting and I'll be able to shoot that video. But I had set everything all up for that to be my next video. And as I started filming, it was extremely dim down there and grainy looking. Um, the room I'm in right now is just a spare room. 